Okay, a lot of you have been asking about my personal Notion dashboard and today that's what we're gonna talk about. For the past year and three months, I've been using Notion daily uh, to track everything. YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, medical school, ENT research, uh, cooking, fitness goals, etc. You name it, I'm pretty much tracking it. And I've been getting a lot of DMs recently that I should talk about how I set this up. And so let's do that. Let's talk about it and let me show you guys what I'm working with. Before I talk about what this Notion dashboard is, I wanted to go over my personal knowledge management philosophy. And there's a great video out there that talks about the lie of personal knowledge management. Um, I'll link it in the description. And it essentially says that people who have the wrong idea or don't know what they want to do end up spending more time tracking things than they actually do learning or doing the work. And I've definitely teetered on the edge of this. And I finally, in the last year and a half, figured out a system that allows me to track things, but also doesn't get too track heavy. And by that I mean is like minimal effort. I think there are essentially three main benefits of Notion. The first is of course the great UI. I think it looks great. I think the slew of updates that the team has pushed over at HIT headquarters has been amazing. The second thing is, I think that it's really nice to have a system that allows you to track certain articles or books or take notes on things because there's no way to look back and measure if you're actually hitting your goals without actually tracking. And I've had this issue in the past where I thought I've hit a goal, but I've had no idea. It's the same thing with calorie counting. Um, and essentially it's taking that calorie tracking mentality and applying it to my own personal life. And the third thing is the database storage aspect where I can create a second brain of medical knowledge, flashcards, and kind of customize things to be how I like it and what works for me. So without further ado, let's walk into the, uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Let me show you what I'm working with. Okay, we're gonna start on the home page. I got my little brain thing for my second brain. I got my Aston Martin cover photo because you know I'm an Aston guy. Uh, I got my Philadelphia weather widget. I think this is Indify. But here I have a couple of views and here I have today's meetings. So I have everything that I have to do in terms of meetings and events today. Then I have today's tasks. So it pulls all the data, um, the tasks that are due either today or the day before. Uh, there's a custom filter scheduled for on or before today. So essentially the way I view this is the first thing I wanna see when I log on to my dashboard is my meetings and my events for the day. It's kind of like a surrogate to Google Calendar. If I were to click on this, this is a punch list, which is a kind of landing hub for my day that's kind of dynamic and relevant to each specific day. So here on the top left is my implement implementation intentions. It's the three things that I have to do in a day before I go to bed. And I can stratify my other tasks by priority in terms of immediate, high, um, there's also moderate and low. But here I can quickly view tasks by priority. Here's my inbox where I can quickly overview new tasks or quickly input new tasks. As you can see, I'm working on this dashboard today since it's MLK day. Here's my meetings for the day. I have no actual meetings since again, we're off. On the left are pending articles that I haven't read. I was supposed to read about lung nodules a while ago, but I just haven't gotten around to it because it's not super relevant for ENT. And also I don't really like the lung nodules, so I'll get to it eventually. But, and then here's some data stuff I have for my job a little space for extra notes that I can take in mentorship meetings or random conversations that I think are relevant to note, take note of. And then my recap where I determine whether this day actually went as planned. And I, I do this pretty much every day. If you go to my main calendar page, let me go by table, uh, sorry, by calendar, we can see that every day I have some sort of punch list version for that day. And so, uh, you know, I have all my punch lists and all my notes. I'm tracking right now how much I suture, log my food, do my practice questions and study, read, whether it's articles or books, work out, cook, and then YouTube, uh, content create essentially. And I get these nice stats. And so far I'm doing decently in January. I could be doing a bit better with uh, cooking, but everything and suturing for sure. But I ran out of rubber bands, so finally fixed that. But overall, moving in the right direction. And essentially that's linked right here, where I get like a little view where I can check things off as, as uh, you know, as I do them. So moving down a little bit, here are my review questions. And this is essentially my Anki flashcards. So when did the salivary glands develop between four and nine weeks of gestation? I'm currently going through ENT secrets, preparing for sub internships. And so I like to do my flashcards. You guys know about this space repetition algorithm that I've built into Notion. The template link will be in my bio. Uh, and it's again, I can see what's today, what's due tomorrow. Uh, in general, the calendar and what topics I'll be covering in the next week. So if I have a busy OR day, for example, I can switch things up. 
And then I have on the left a navigation panel where I can talk about or I can see my master schedule with all my tasks and events, my content creation dashboard to plan content ideas, meal plans, penny and tea for research, my diary, um, cooking, reading, you know, where I take all my notes on the books that I read, where I track how long it takes to read them. I have this nice timeline view essentially that I can see how long it takes me to read a book. And some of them take me a couple of years, but it's nice because I have everything in one easily accessible view. And a couple of things that I wanted to highlight are first, the master calendar. You've noticed that this has this little link icon here. This is a link to my master calendar. And essentially the philosophy that I have with Notion is it should be minimal input. And so everything that you see here, I only input it once and then I've taken care of the fact that it's gonna reflect everywhere. It's one giant task list that also can be stratified into whether it's a high priority task, whether it's a lab meeting type thing, who's attending it, whether it's a video, um, an event, in our case, a workout, if there's any other subtasks or sub items I need to link it to, all of this stuff has been thought of ahead of time. And so now when I go to input an event in my calendar, post notion video, I can actually pick, okay, well, this is going to be YouTube. This is going to be not an event, but a task. This is going to be a, not a research project, but a high priority or immediate priority thing that I want to take care of this week. So let's say I'll try to get it out by Thursday. And then I can, you know, add whatever I need to add. I have a lot of templates here that really minimize the amount of effort I have to put in for stuff. So that's been it. That's the Notion dashboard that I've used for pretty much a year and a half now, almost. Uh, going all the way back to neurology rotation when I started using it. Um, and the benefit of something like Notion is, as I've discussed, the ability to store everything. And there's a surprising amount of things that I'm dealing with right now that require a really high forest view organizational system. And a lot of it is like project management for research. But if you're a medical student or somebody in law or whatever, where you need to manage a lot of information, I really believe in something like Notion uh, as, it, as it can help you parse all of that out. There's a great quote that says, your mind is there for having ideas, not storing them. And for anyone who's a big second brain person like me, this is the best way to do it. And I think if I were to impart one or two tricks that really helped me, uh, the first is to make a master calendar or a master task list and just use the function of linked view as much as you possibly can. I think the less you have to input things in different pages, the more time you'll save, the more time you can spend uh, actually doing the things. And my last recommendation would be to be as consistent as you possibly can. I think people get carried away with knowledge management and they can turn it into a art form instead of what it actually is, which is a tool in your belt to help you get things done. So if you can spend maybe 15 minutes a day, maybe that's it, but as long as that 15 minutes is done keeping things tracked, keeping things productive, keeping you moving from one test to the next, I'd say you're getting a huge benefit out of something like Notion. So if you made it this far into the video, I'd love it if you left me a like or a comment or a subscribe. So things that you want me to cover, please leave them below. There's a lot to unpack as you know, I talk about and reflect on my medical student journey, my journey as a pre-med, now considering ENT and applying ENT, what that's like and this whole research year, of course. That's been it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.